Hello and welcome back to another episode of the van build. It is currently Wednesday and we haven't really gotten anything done on the van this week because, well, I want to say that it's because I was waiting on parts, but to be honest, I've been lazy, but we were also waiting on parts. So we've been waiting on parts for our range stove because I want to get this installed next. And I bought this elbow, but it turned out to be the incorrect fitting because it was not flared like this thing is, kind of like that. So I got this extension piece here and then this nipple from flared to NPT or pipe fitting. That's gonna go there. This is a pressure regulator that's gonna go on the end. And then this is going to connect to our propane tank. We're just gonna test it outside right now, outside of the van, just to make sure everything works. I don't even care if it leaks right now. I just wanna make sure that this works. And then we can install it in the van. Okay, so this should go on here. How tight? Snug. That's good. All right, so we've got this connected here. This is tight enough. Now we're gonna connect our pressure regulator to the end of the hose. And I know I've said this in other videos before, I don't know what I'm doing. All of my knowledge comes from the internet and from YouTube and definitely not my dad because he also doesn't know what he's doing with this either. The most that we've ever done with hooking up gas appliances is like hooking up a, like a propane barbecue or whatever that just goes outside. And then we've also done gas lines for washer and dryer and for stoves, but those are really simple. But this is essentially the same thing, so. Okay. No. Hopefully we don't actually need it, but I got a fire extinguisher just in case. Uh, so we're gonna open this up right now. And now we're gonna test this out. We got a lighter. It does have its own ign igniter here, but obviously that requires electricity. And I do not have it connected to the van yet, so I just wanna make sure that the gas works. Oh, there it goes. All right, everybody. Well, it looks like it's working safely, I think. We have not used the extinguisher yet. And hopefully we don't have to, cause that's the little RV extinguisher that my older brother bought me for Christmas, I think, so. I'd rather not have to buy another one. Okay, well, I don't know why I thought that the igniter used electricity, it doesn't. It's just this manual knob right here, so I'll try one of the other burners. I've already tested all of them, so they are working. It does work. So I should be able to test the oven now too, so I'm gonna do that now. Let's go ahead and open this up. Turn the oven pilot on. Ah, there we go. Now it's working. It should slide. No, it doesn't. It does. It does not. It does. Okay. Okay, ready? Not all the way. Yeah. Okay, so Dad helped me put this in here so we did not drop it and or scratch and destroy the countertop. So we're gonna connect our gas line hose here with tape. Then we're gonna test the whole thing for leaks with gas. And then I do need to also connect our electrical here, which turns out all this is for is just for the lighting. So I've ran our gas line here through some holes that were drilled back here. You'll see it does run behind our pantry and then into our sink. I'm just leaving the hose in here right now. This is not where the propane tank is gonna be stored. It's actually gonna be inside of our garage under the bed. So I do gotta cut another hole there, but we'll do that later. So we're using our pipe tape to seal off the threading here, and we're gonna thread in the direction of the threads, which I understand why, but it still doesn't make sense to me in my head, but that's what we're doing. I know that's what you're supposed to do. Come on, man. I think I did it wrong. So we've got 
uh, both wires here, one for the sink water pump, and then I've routed the wire for the stove underneath the sink, here behind the pantry, and now it should be right here. So we just gotta splice this onto this, and then the stove electrical should be working. Got our electrical connected. Now we just need to put in our fuse into the fuse box. So now that we've got this completely connected, I've run the hose out to the tank down there and now we're gonna leak test to make sure that all of these connections are secure and we won't get any leaks so we don't die. So we're just gonna spray this stuff on and we'll be looking for bubbles and that'll tell us if we got leaks. I don't see anything on this one. Just kind of nothing really happening there. Or this one either. You guys probably can't see as well, but I don't see any bubbles. We're gonna check again. So I forgot to turn my mic on here, um, but I ended up just testing all of the burners again, checking for leaks. And then I also tested the stove as well to make sure it was working. So we got our oven in, electricity's on. So we've got our lights. Uh, I do have it disconnected from the gas now because we already tested that, but uh, it is permanently installed now. I screwed it in and uh, so shouldn't be going anywhere. Okay, so it's Saturday today and and today we're going to be installing the propane tank and making a box for it back here so that it'll be enclosed. We just need to drill a hole back there to run the propane line back here so it can connect to this. So we got our propane locker built and uh, we've got a lid as well that I made here. Should sit right on top like that. Um, and then this is gonna be our door on front. We already tested the propane tank just to make sure that it will fit properly. Um, and then what I'm doing now is I'm using the hole saw to drill a hole all the way through the flooring and the metal of the van so that it will be ventilated. Since propane is heavier than air, it should all sink to the bottom. If there is a leak, obviously we don't want there to be, but if there happens to be one, it should sink down into this hole and just exit the van and not stay inside and kill me. All right, well, we got our uh, hole drilled here. Hello, I don't know if you can see me. Yeah, holes drilled all the way through this piece of wood, through the subflooring, and then through the metal as well. Took a minute, but we got it done. Now, um, I'm probably, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna use some kind of metal pipe or PVC tubing or something that I'm gonna attach some mesh to under there, just so that I don't get like insects coming up from underneath, but uh, yeah, that's something I can do later.
And I just drilled another hole right here, just a small one for the uh, propane tube. And uh, that's gonna connect to the regulator and then to the tank. It is Sunday today and we are still working on building this propane locker. Um, we ended up getting some paint for it. I figured it would be a good idea to paint at least the inside of this uh, to protect from condensation and moisture that will happen when cooking. Um, just to protect the wood from rotting or mold and stuff like that. And since I'm doing it, I figured I might as well paint my bed because I've been wanting to do that. I just didn't last time because I was kind of in a hurry. So I'm gonna paint both of these right now. Okay, so we've got a lot of painting done. Probably can't see this that well because it's dark, but we did put a couple coats um, on the inside of the propane box. And this took way longer than I thought it was going to. And I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. It would have been way easier to paint this if I had just taken the whole thing apart because it's all just screwed together. So. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna do that later tomorrow, once this dries. I'll do it after work, because today's Sunday. Um, because I wanna paint this completely just to seal the wood um, and protect it from any moisture that might occur underneath the bed. So we'll take that apart and paint it up later. It's not too late, it's about nine o'clock, so I think we should still have a little bit more time because I want to get the face on this pantry finally and finish it. It's been sitting over here for a while. Um, so put the face and handle on that and then same thing with this drawer as well. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so we got our face here for the pantry and um, we're using the same handles that we use for the rest of the drawers and cabinets. We've already marked our two holes here, three inches apart for the screws here, but our bolts or screws are a little bit too long, so we gotta cut them down to size. Gotta screw it in a little bit just cause it is kind of tight. Taking about a quarter inch off. All right. This comes in handy a lot. We've used it for pretty much all of these to uh, cut these screws short. Uh, the pantry door and handle on and uh, I think it looks really good. It uh, comes out pretty easy. Well, it's not as easy as these other drawers. It's a little tight, but it's not bad. And uh, we got our three drawers there. So this is complete.
Now we finish both faces on both the pantry and this bottom drawer here and uh, they're working just fine. This one was scraping a little bit at the beginning or when we first cut it so I had to trim it again. But uh, both of these are working really nice and I'm really happy with the way they've turned out. But that is going to be everything we're going to get done tonight because it is kind of late and it is a work day tomorrow. So I will see you guys the next day we're working. It is the next day, Monday. This should be completely dry, but I want to take it out and we're gonna paint it. So there's not enough room really in the garage right now to do that because it's a mess in here. So we're gonna pull the van outside. It's just about 11:30 right now so this is about all we're gonna get done but we got both of these painted that's the bottom side and tomorrow probably going to put a second coat of primer on the bottom I'm not gonna use the regular paint on the bottom because I really don't care that much I just want to protect it and then I'm gonna paint the top and then we'll be done with those and we're also probably going to paint the 2x4 support beams as well so might be a few days before we get the bed back together. Okay, so it's the next day now, and actually during work today, I came outside on my lunch and breaks and put uh, two more layers of paint on, or one layer on each side. So now the top side should be ready for a top coat of the actual paint that we'll be using. Um, we just got some semi-gloss. I just wanted it to be nice and smooth so it doesn't like mess up the mattress when it's in there. Not that I've had a problem with that on just the bare wood, but I don't know. I figured it'd give it a more finished look. So we're gonna do that now. Probably only needs one coat, I think, but we'll see. So I'm back in the van now after uh, painting the two boards that go on top of here that hold my mattress. But I do want to also paint all of these 2x4 support beams as well. Um, these three should be able to come out um, and I can, I'm going to paint them inside the barn. But this one here is attached in a lot of places. It's attached to this whole front face. And then the way that it's attached here is with pocket hole screws, but they go in this way. So I don't want to go through all the trouble of taking uh, this thing out because I have to like remove this and possibly even this. I'm just not going to do that. So I'll, I'll probably just remove all these wires and just paint it with a paint brush.
I've got all of the support beams painted, the ones that I took out, and the one inside of the van. We did paint it. Of course, our bedboards are painted as well on top and bottom, but I'm not gonna be putting any of this in just yet because now that I have everything out, it gives me a lot more space to work in here without being cramped underneath the bed frame. And I still need to put in the water system, the water tank right there. That's gonna go on top of that wheel well box. And I figure I'll finish all of that up and all the work that needs to be done underneath the bed frame and then put it back. So I don't have to be stuck under there. But that's gonna be about it for this video. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.